Goostry Primary School has 170 pupils and serves the village of Goostry and its local rural community in Cheshire. One of the things that started us on the road to inclusion was actually a need within the community itself. Some parents have approached us uh, who had uh, a child with uh, Down syndrome. We're a community school and it was part of our vision, our ethos, to be there for all members of the community. So we were quite interested and excited about this opportunity. Obviously there was a few trepidations about uh, taking a child who had Down syndrome because we hadn't had any experience of that before. And so there were all those feelings of, you know, can we do the right thing? Are we going to get the right access to resources? Uh, but really it was important for us as a school to make sure that the parents knew that Ben was welcome the two drivers really were the school and the parents' attitudes to say, yes, we can do this, let's have a go at it. If it doesn't work out, okay, we'll review the situation, but to be positive about it in the first place. As it's worked so well, it's been interesting to see some of those early uh, uh, involvements from some of the professionals, and they've almost done a 180 degree turn and said, yes, <laughs> this has worked. Uh, and have really been falling over themselves backwards to provide us with additional training and additional support. Ben has Down syndrome and severe learning difficulties. How did staff prepare for his arrival? Training issues really, we thought the whole staff needed to be aware of the needs of a child with Down syndrome so we invited the chairman of the Down syndrome association to come and speak to the whole staff. Following this Linda and Ben's reception teacher did some training with a specialist advisor and invited her back to the school to talk to Goostry staff and staff from primary schools in their primary cluster. Ben has a statement of special educational needs which funds his teaching assistant and other support. Goostry Primary does not have resource provision and so the school explores many other avenues to fund additional resources to support disabled pupils. It's just a case of being persistent and proactive and trying anybody because it's quite a new um, initiative, the inclusion initiative. I think we've got to make all the diverse people educational, social service, medical, aware. I think if we're being proactive in phoning them and saying, well, we'll do this, but we need you to help us with resources, because often, from their position, they're not aware of the school's needs. Um, Ian and Linda have done some fantastic work in raising resources and um, making sure that we're able to provide support for children like Ben within the school. Uh, the governor's also taken active interest, and um, the governor with special responsibility for uh, children with special needs also spends time at the school familiarising herself with what goes on within the school and reporting back to the rest of the governors. Ben had very few ways to communicate when he started at Goostree. He did not naturally use sign language, so Jane is now teaching him a symbols and picture card system. The idea is he chooses, so he's to pick the card. At the moment we're really hand over hand to place his favourite card on top of the sentence strip and then again hand over hand to pick this up and then to give it to the teacher. Ben's target is 50 picture exchanges a day and so he uses this system everywhere in school and at home. In the last, what's, let's say, six months now, we've really progressed. He understands more what we want, and as from him, we get a lot less of the, the shouting, perhaps the frustration, because, um, again, using this, we can see exactly what Ben wants. A reasonable adjustment made for Ben is the deployment of Jane for one-to-one -one teaching assistant support. Different reasonable adjustments are made to support other disabled pupils. Paddy, who has dyslexia, has the use of a laptop in class, and Linda Lysenko has had training on strategies to support pupils with dyslexia. Joanna in Year 3 has a hearing impairment and medical needs. Her teachers use a microphone in class. Joanna's condition means that she is in danger of losing her residual hearing if she gets a knock, and so a teaching assistant keeps an unobtrusive watch on her in the playground. Reasonable adjustments made to support Olivia, who has a heart condition, include daily liaison with her parents about her health and the provision of a flexible timetable. One of the adjustments made for Ben is the use of a touchscreen computer which engages him in learning. He is encouraged to use this by Kyle, his peer mentor, in weekly sessions and supported by Jane, his teaching assistant. Choosing the appropriate teaching assistant to support Ben was a key adjustment the school made. 
Jane, who we appointed, had medical training. She had the experience from working in another school with a specialist unit. And we found Jane's um, knowledge very useful. We've actually developed links with two, school, two special schools on an outreach. One, we used the therapy pool, and it was Jane that made us aware that to, to educate Ben as a whole, we needed to meet his physical needs as well. And the other special school, we use their speech and language um, teacher. She comes and advises and offers resources. One resource that Linda introduced to benefit Ben is this practical maths kit developed by a parent of a child with Down syndrome. Each number is represented by its own unique colour and shape. So one, two, and the children get used to the colour and the shape and they play feeler games and then they actually look at them and they learn the odd numbers because the odd numbers have always got a piece sticking up and the even numbers are always nice and smooth. If you're doing number bonds to ten, you can put on the five and find the other shape. So five and five is ten. Or six, what do I need to make up it up to the... So six and four is ten. And it's made such a difference to our children who are struggling with maths. So whereas we targeted it for one child, we found that it's really been useful for other children as well. For me, it's the beginning of a journey because as well as the tried and tested strategies, we're becoming more and more aware of new strategies and we're getting the confidence to trial new things and if they're not quite right, to tr tweak them or try something else. Partnership with parents and outside agencies has been key to the process of reasonable adjustment at Goostry. I think within school, any child that we've earmarked as having additional needs, it's really important to share that with the parents, to get the parents' views. There might be something that we're not aware of that's happening at home, and also to discuss the particular targets with the child so that the child has an input, so that you make sure they understand what you're asking them and they think that they can actually attain that with, with help and support. So I think it's that teamwork. I've only been here two years, but I've really noticed a difference from when I started to the point that we are now. Whereas a lot of staff meetings and discussions would start off with, well, we can't do that because it's now, well, we can do this because. And for me as a head teacher, that, that's an enormous cultural shift and something that you know, I really want to continue at the school. We've seen massive progress. The school has been incredibly positive and uh, really got uh, a lot of equipment um, in terms of uh, touchscreen uh, uh, computer and uh, the software that goes with it. They appointed a superb person as uh, Ben's one-to-one -one support and uh, she has been nothing but positive you know from day one and had some great ideas um, and really he's, he's seen a, you know we've seen a, a massive benefit in Ben's development. If you approach it very positively then you're going to make a success of this because it's actually going to be a very positive experience and a learning experience for everybody concerned really.